Hello guys, welcome back to the next part of your training. Now in this part of your training, we're gonna get more into the importance of the triage process. And we're gonna kind of do that by taking you guys through the agenda and helping you guys understand what you can expect to learn in this process. Uh, with that being said, I just wanna say it's very important, and I kind of said this in the previous video, but it's very important that you guys understand how important the filtering process uh, or the triage process for material is to your overall refurb program. The better you can identify defects and better identify what qualifies and does not qualify, the more successful and the healthier your refurb program is gonna be. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the agenda so you guys understand what you can expect to learn in this triage uh, training process, all right? So again, the importance of the triage process. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is how touch assemblies actually work. And the reason why we do this, guys, is the better you, what we've learned is the better you understand how the assembly works, the better you're gonna understand how to identify defects and what causes those defects. And this is, again, gonna ensure that your filtering process or your triage process is benefiting your refurb program process to the maximum efficiency, all right? So it's very important that you understand how both uh, assemblies work for the LCDs and the OLED technology. So we'll talk about that. The next thing we're gonna get into is the process flow and that starts with visual sorting, right? We'll talk more about what visual sorting is, but this is the first step we do in sorting the material before we actually grade it, okay? The sort has to do with broken versus non-broken, but we'll talk more about that as we get into it. But this is the first part of the process flow, right? Filtering out the material to qualify or disqualify it for the refer process. The next thing we get into in the process flow and the filtering process is what is known as grading categories. Uh, this is a grading categories process. So once we sort it, right, and put it where it needs to be, the next thing we're gonna do is grade it. Grading has to do a lot with the issues or the defects specifically that that material has. And once we identify those defects, we will put that, we will grade that in a certain bucket. And we'll talk more about that as we identify for you guys the process flow. And again, this is just one example of a process flow and how we kind of do it internally to help you guys get a better idea of how you may want to do it. Or you may want to adopt the same uh, the process flow that we actually use. All right. Once you see it. OK. The next thing we're going to get into is the testing fundamentals. So how do you test properly um, and to find the defects that we're looking for? So it's it, it, until you really understand the defects, you may not even be testing properly. So it's very important that we cover the testing process or the testing fundamentals of both the LCDs and the OLEDs, which can be a little different. Uh, we'll discuss things like the test jigs, how to look for the material, um, what testing uh, applications that we use that you could be using uh, to better your process and find the defects that we're actually looking for. So this is where we're gonna talk about how to do that kind of stuff. Stuff, the, the testing fundamentals, how to test properly to find the defects and the right defects that you need to find to either disqualify or qualify material for your refer process. So we'll talk about that next, right? And then last but not least, we're going to get into identifying defects. In my opinion, this is the most important part, which is why we saved it for last. But it's very important to understand all the stuff that we're going to talk about before this because it's going to give you a more sound understanding and more clarity in regards to the defects and how to find the defects and what's causing the defects, which is again gonna help your filtering process or your triage process to be more efficient, which in turn is gonna give you a healthier and a better uh, refurb program, okay? So with that being said, um, I'll see you guys in the next training where we're gonna get into how assemblies work. And I'll see you guys, if you guys have any questions, please let me know, and if not, I'll see you guys in the next training.